welcome back to Windsor Public Library's 3D printing workshop. So now that you're comfortable with Tinkercad, we can start creating our personalized keychain. So this is a nice simple project to get you started. We're going to make a long keychain and then you're going to personalize it with your name. So you're going to want to delete all your items off your work plane so we have a nice clean place to start. So all you do is hit select them and then either click delete on your keyboard or the trash can up here. We'll also delete everything. So now that it's nice and clean, we're going to start with a box. So click and drag your box. And this is going to be the surface for our keychain. So you want to make it to be four millimeters tall and 20 millimeters wide. So we're going to hit the height. You can either click and drag down or you can just select four and enter. So that changes our height to be four millimeters tall. And we want to make it 20 millimeters wide. So it's already that. So we select this item here and we can see that it is 20 millimeters. So depending how long your name is, depends how long your keychain is. So for now, just click this point here and drag it out. So we have a long rectangular shape. If we need it longer, we can resize it at the end once we put your name on. Okay, so now we want to make the key ring at the end, right here. So what we're gonna do is use two cylinders. So click and, and drag your cylinder to your end. And we're gonna want it to be the same height as the rectangle. So click and hit four again, or you can just drag it down and have the correct height. If you go any taller than four millimeter, it's going to be too chunky and it's going to take a long time to print. But if we go lower than four millimeters, it's going to be really a thin keychain. So that looks like the right size for me. So now we want to make a hole in the center so we can attach it to our key ring. So we are going to click and drag another cylinder into the work plane and this is going to be our hole. So we can click it and select hole. And we're going to want it to be a bit smaller than that original one. So we right now are at 20 each. So let's try 15 and 15. Remember we want it a circle. So the same size on each side. Okay, let's see if that worked. So that will be perfect. It will leave us just enough of a lip around that we can put it on our keychain. So we're going to want to have this hole right in the center of the, uh, of the other cylinder so that the hole is centered when we print the item. So to do that, you're going to select both cylinders. So you can click and drag, making sure only to hit the cylinders. If you accidentally click and drag all three, deselect and try again. So you want to have them both. So we want to use the align tool here. So click align. And it's going to show all the ways you can align it. So we want to align it in the center this way and in the center this way. Don't worry about aligning it in the center this way because that's just going to bring this up. So we want it on the bottom. So now, if we look above, it's perfectly in the center. So remember from the first video, to make sure that we get the hole, we want to group these two items. So select them again if you deselect it, and hit group. Now we have our key ring at the bottom. So the last thing we're going to do is be writing our name. So what we can do is actually select the whole item, the rectangle and our cylinder, and we're going to group the whole thing. So that's how it looks like. If you want to play around with different shapes, you can try using instead of a cylinder, you could use um, the heart tool and do the same thing, making a heart hole. Or you could use a star and doing the same thing and putting a hole in the center. Any shape will work.
but this is just your basic cylinder. Okay, so now we have the base of our keychain done. So we just want to put our name. So if we scroll on the right side, you're going to see the text icon. So we can click and drag it onto our key ring. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so we can see it a little better. There we go. So once you select the text over here, you're going to be able to write your name. I'm going to just put Windsor. I'm going to make it a different color just so it's easier to see. But when you print it, it's going to be all just one color. Okay, so now it looks like our name is way too big for the keychain. So we're going to want to resize it. So if you remember, you can resize by moving it. I'm going to click and drag and bring it in smaller. So this might take you a little while to figure out the size you want. So we want to make sure that we're not falling over any of the edges. Looks like I'm a little too far to the left, so I'm going to bring it over. There, you can also select both of them and you can use that align tool that we used earlier to align it perfectly in the center. Just like that. Perfect, so let's look at it from this angle. So this will show you how tall it is above. So right now, it's sitting right on top of our keychain base and it's gonna be 10 millimeters high. So that's probably way too big, we're gonna have a bulky keychain. So you actually want it to have between two and three millimeters high. And then we lost it. So let's click. Here it is again. And we want to raise it back up so that we can see the indent. So here it is. So just using this, we can raise and lower. And we want to make sure it's just right above. So see, there's a gap here. So we're going to pull it down a little bit until it's flush. And let's double check. It's three millimeters high. You can see that here. Make sure not to go too much more over three or you're going to have a really bulky keychain. Now let's zoom back out. I'm going to realign. And now I have my personalized keychain. Once again, I'm going to group it so that we don't accidentally move this, our name. And we'll see it. And remember, you can always select and ungroup it if you want to change it. So now you have your basic keychain with your name. So now you can play around customizing it however you want using the skills you learned. So you can add decorations on the end. You can click and drag different shapes. You could do a cylinder at the end and make a decoration by repeating them. Or you could do the pyramid. You could put hearts or stars. Just click and drag and resizing it. And again, just like the name, making sure it's not raised too far above that three millimeters. See? And making sure it's sitting on top of your keychain base, not sitting in it or not sitting above it or it won't print properly. So that I'm going to put it as two millimeters, so it's going to be just a little lower than that one. So that would mean that we'd have a bit of a raised star in the end. You could always add an extra hole too by using the host hole tool. And then when we group it, we'll see we'll have kind of a cutout of a star. I'm gonna go back and say, I just want a star at the end. So play around with that using different shapes and sizes and customizing it however you want. Um, and always make sure when you're done, select all your items and hit group. 
if you don't group your items when you're all done, your keychain will not print correctly. So have fun uh, learning how to do this. Um, it should be quite simple and you can personalize it however you want. Once the program is finished, we will be printing your keychains and you can pick them up. We'll contact you.